Hi guys, this is the bit here. We're talking about ryegrass staggers today, a disease that makes your livestock stagger and fall over like they're drunk in late summer. To keep up to date with seasonal diseases as they become high risk throughout the year, please hit the subscribe button so you do not miss out. I'll see you in a minute. You know that nightmare when the monster's chasing you but the harder you try to run, the more paralyzed you become? That's what these guys are experiencing for real. The really defining feature about ryegrass staggers is that it's worse when you disturb them. So they may look absolutely normal when hanging out in the field, but when you go out to move them around, that's when they start to show signs. Initially, you might even just notice a slight head tremor or twitching of the skin before the staggering and eventually collapse sets in. It is due to a toxin produced by a fungus that lives in the ryegrass, predominantly in the seed heads or down at the humid damp base of the pasture. So think where do fungi want to live? Where would a mushroom want to grow? The damp humid base of the pasture. Fun fact, the ryegrass actually wants the fungus to be there. They have a win-win relationship where the fungus protects the ryegrass from weevils. That's a type of insect. Now good news is, is it does not kill the animal in itself. This is a relatively harmless disease, but when we do get losses, it's because they've fallen into electric fences, down ravines, drowned in water troughs, sad deaths. So treatment is simple. Get them off the ryegrass, onto a different type of pasture or hay, silage, supplementary feed. You cannot feed an animal a ton of concentrate, as in pellets, grains. A lot at once is gonna make them very sick and risk killing them that way, so you need a high fiber supplementary feed. But get them off the ryegrass, protect them from hurting themselves, move them slowly and calmly to a flat paddock, no electric fences, check on them regularly, give them their space and all will be well with the world. You can also, and I would recommend, give them a toxin binder. Now this is a drench that you can either pop straight down the throat or you can just add it to the food that you're giving them each day. This obviously binds to the toxins and helps flush it out of the system. You can get great products as well that have the toxin binder in it, but are also a tonic to help boost them nutritionally. So calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, all those goodies that drop critically low when a ruminant stops eating properly. Our grazing species, sheep, cattle, goats, alpaca, all have daily requirements of these trace elements that they get from constantly grazing the grass. So if they're not eating properly, even just for a couple of days, we're gonna start to see them going backwards just from dropping low in these things now regardless of what the initial cause was. All right, last but not least, let me just disclaimer, neurological disease, as in in the brain, the spinal column, the nerves, can be very sinister and needs aggressive and early treatment. Ryegrass staggers is actually an unusually harmless cause of neurological disease. It's not gonna kill them in itself, but if you notice these signs, I highly recommend getting a vet visit to make sure that you are treating the right thing, otherwise you might miss your window of treatment. All right, please subscribe below, ask your questions over on the YouTube channel so that I can see them and answer them for you. Okay guys, thumbs up if you like this, share it if it was helpful to you, and I will check in next time for another episode of Says the Vet. Bye-bye.